Primary Election Special 2014, a Sunny Hirsch production. Thank you for joining us. Um, got a long block of shows today, so there's a lot you can learn about a lot of candidates. It is a pleasure to introduce you to a candidate for judge in the 10th sub-circuit, Catherine O'Dell. Catherine, how you doing? Hi, thank you for having me again. It's an honor to be here. First of all, pleasure, and I'd like to thank Ed McElroy very much for helping make the arrangements. And also thanks to Diana from your staff, who's uh, been very helpful. Great, thank you for mentioning them. My pleasure. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Great. So I'm Catherine O'Dell. I've grown up in the 10th Judicial Sub-Circuit. Um, I grew up in the 39th Ward in the Saugenash community. After I got married, I moved to the 41st Ward. So I've been very active in the community, such as I got married at Queen of All Saints in the 39th Ward. My son was baptized there. Um, my son now goes to Immaculate Conception School on the corner of Harlem and Talcott. So that's basically about my family life. And um, as far as I'm concerned, I have started my legal career at the state's attorney's office, um, handling real estate tax matters, defending the Cook County Assessor, Board of Review, Clerk's Office, and the Treasurer's Office, whether it be trying to defend the taxpayer's money or um, defending the tax sales that occur from people not paying their taxes. So after four years of being there, I went to private practice, began my private career at the law offices of Amari and Locello. I've been there since 2004, and I am now the first woman attorney and senior associate at the law firm. Very good. And what sort of uh, cases are you handling now? Uh, right now we do real estate tax cases. Yeah. So uh, we file appeals trying to contest the overall market value of properties at the Cook County Assessor's Office and the Board of Review in Cook County as well as outside of Cook County. My general practice is inside of Cook County. And then I also um, handle litigation in the Circuit Court of Cook County. They're called specific objection lawsuits, trying to adjudicate cases to obtain partial refunds for taxes for prior years that were overpaid, as well as handling tax-related uh, tax matters at the Property Tax Appeal Board, which is a state of Illinois administrative hearing process. Very good. And. Um you also you uh, graduated from John Marshall Law School. I did, yes, I did. I'm very proud of it, and I love the school so much that school gave me such an opportunity. Um, my LSAT scores were low. I didn't have a great college, academia, career. You know, I had maybe C's and B's, and John Marshall gave me the opportunity to go to their law school, and because of them, I'm sitting in front of you today, and I've paid back to the school by being president of the John Marshall Law School Alumni Association. Cool, which is a very high honor, by the way, because there's a lot of distinguished graduates from there. That's right. And again, it's all about giving back to the community, which is one of the reasons why I want to be a judge. I want to be a public servant. I've been helping so many people that pay real estate taxes on their properties, all different ethnic backgrounds. I'm here to help the people, and now I want to do it in a different capacity. And one way that I've been able to help the people, I've had the opportunity of speaking to many senior groups, Kiwanis groups, um, because there's new laws that have been in effect where senior citizens have to apply for their exemptions year after year instead of, them, that, instead of the assessor's office applying them automatically because people were receiving exemptions on properties that they weren't entitled to if they recently purchased it from a senior citizen. Yeah. So I've been really trying to educate the taxpayers to let them know that you, if you're a senior you need to apply every year so yeah that's true as a matter of fact I, I, I have a particular uh, sore point with the state legislature for um, not you know like letting it roll over year after year but it's not gonna get me anywhere <laughs> no but again it's now it's not it's not that way I mean the homeowners exemption will roll year after year but if you're a senior citizen and you're entitled to the senior citizen exemption or a senior citizen freeze and let me just explain that for people who are watching today sure if you're a senior citizen you're over 65 you live in the property and you own it you're entitled to an exemption there's a second exemption that applies to senior citizens same qualifications but you have to have a household income of less than 55,000 and the assessor's office will actually place a freeze on the assessment over a period of time if they qualify and if the senior citizens don't fill out the booklet that they receive in the mail they're going to have to, they're not going to receive their exemption and have to actually go down to the assessor's office and apply for that year or apply to try get to get refunds because they didn't get that exemption when they should have in their second installment bill. I have a 90-year-old neighbor that I remind every year because I'm afraid if he starts getting forgetful 
you know, it would be pretty expensive because his sprees has been in effect now for uh, 25 years. That's right, and that's the point I'm trying to come across to senior citizens speaking everywhere is please don't miss the opportunity. And if you did not receive it last year or the year before, you have the right to go back three years and obtain partial refunds through the assessor's office. So please make sure you check your second installment bills from 2009 up until now. So if, God forbid, somebody mis you know messes up, you can go back three years. That's and right. You can go all the way back to 2009, only up until the end of March. But then from there on, you can go from 2010 all the way up to the present. So mm -hmm. you know, the, people don't understand the process. And unless somebody actually speaks to you, you call the assessor's office on the phone, you're not going to know. So you know, again, that's one way I can give back to the community to explain to them the changes in the real estate tax law. Good. I'm learning something that's good. <laughs> no, you know, but again, I've been doing this. I, I've been speaking to groups once a week, once, once every couple of weeks, once a month, any opportunity that, that comes my way just so I can help. No, it sounds good. That sounds really good. Oh, I also want to give a shout out to your father, Leonard Amari, who's a very classy, good guy. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. So uh, we've got about three minutes where you can talk about, let's talk about the campaign. All right, let's talk about the campaign. So it's been, a, it's been a great couple months for me. So I've been found qualified by the Illinois State Bar Association and the Chicago Bar Association. Um, we started campaigning. Um, anyone that lives in the northwest side of the city, as well as Park Ridge, Des Plaines, Glenview, Harwood Heights, a little bit of Norwich, They've either seen one of my 14 billboards in the city or 10 bus <laughs> shelters. So my, my face is everywhere. It's everywhere. It's fun to watch. Um, that's one thing we've been doing. And I've gotten a lot of endorsements, even though I'm not the slated candidate, which includes the mayor of Harwood Heights. Nice. Uh -huh. um, I've gotten the uh, Chicago Police Sergeants Association, the Cook County Sheriff's FOP Lodge 4. I've gotten the Polish National Alliance of America. I have gotten a bunch of locals, such as the Pipe Fitters 597, uh, the Joint Council 25, the Teamster 700, Teamster 710. I've gotten the Italian American Political Coalition endorsement, and just a whole wide variety of other ones too. So we've been working really hard. No, it sounds it. It sounds it. No, it's a very impressive, uh, you know, list of uh, organizations behind you. Yeah, I'm very fortunate. You know, my husband's been a union member for 13 years, so. Um, the union endorsements are very important to me. He started off in the laborers, um, went to, through their apprenticeship program and was in the laborers union for five years and then he switched over to the local 63 ornamental and I, uh, ornamental iron workers and he's been a journeyman in, in that capacity. And you know it's a dangerous profession. So, sure is. You know I'm very fortunate to, um, to say that I'm, I'm from a union family. Um, between that and then my services within the legal community, we talked about John Marshall. Um, I'm also very active in uh, the ethnic organizations, bar associations. Um, one of the largest in the in the uh, the state is the Justinian Society of Lawyers, and I'm past president of that. And I'm also nice. thank you. And I'm also the associate editor of its newsletter that comes out uh, four times a year. So I assist in writing articles, proofing the articles, picking the photos for that. So I'm very honored to be part of the legal community and, and I'm hoping to contribute one, if, God bless, if I get elected to the bench. Well, good luck along those lines, that's for sure. Um, do you have a website? I do. It's uh, www.odellforjudge.com. We also have a Facebook website. It's uh, Catherine A. Odell for Judge in the 10th Judicial Sub-Circuit. So please get on Facebook, like it, share it, anything you can do to get the vote out because it's very important that people vote for judges. I agree and uh, you should start on the bottom of the ballot and go from there because so many of the races on the top of the ballot um, are uncontested. So, you know, get your copy of Jewish Chicago. It's out on the streets. Okay, we, we've got a full review of all the judicial elections. Um, you know, there's, there's, uh, there's other pla places too where you can check reviews and all that. You know, do your homework, make a thorough review, and in your case, what number would you like them to punch? 172. 172. <laughs> so punch 172 if you'd like to vote for Catherine O'Dell. I want to wish you all the luck in the world in the election. Thank you. And I want to thank Sonny Hirsch, who's uh, producing this election special. And thanks, everybody, for joining us. Bye-bye.